Ladies and gentle gamers, welcome back to To Be Determined. In today's video, we're going to go over the entire chocolate factory, everything that can help you get through it faster. So if you guys enjoy, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll jump straight into it. If you've never even started the chocolate factory, here's how you get into it. Basically, you just go to the hub and whenever it is spring, Hoppity will spawn right back here inside the carrot cave here. He'll be right on this block right here. And basically you just talk to him and he'll have some rabbits that you can buy and he'll just give you some dialogue on how to start your chocolate factory. So if you ever want to access your chocolate factory, you can access it year round. As you can see, it is summer right now, but I can just do slash CF and be able to see my chocolate factory. And as you can see, there's a lot to go over in here. I think it'll just be a chocolate chip cookie right here when you first start out, but basically you just click that to gain chocolate and then you can use that chocolate to start upgrading your different employees down here. When you first start out, you'll be chocolate factory level one and you'll have access to these first five employees here, the bro, cousin, sister, all the way up to the granny. And there is a special order that you can upgrade these in. It doesn't matter a ton, but there are some mods that can help you out. I believe Sky Hanny is the one you can use if you use Forage or some other client. But I use Badline Client and it has a built-in counter that tells me which employee I should start upgrading. And occasionally while you're clicking, these little rabbits will show up that will give you a bit of extra chocolate as well. So make sure to take advantage of those and click on them. But the goal of the chocolate factory is basically to just get as much chocolate per second as you can and as you upgrade employees they give more and more chocolate per second but that's just one of the ways that you can get more chocolate per second if you go down here to the bottom left you can see all the ways that you're gaining chocolate so you can also gain it from the talisman that you have but at the moment i have the rare talisman if you get a legendary talisman it'll go all the way up to 50 extra chocolate per second as well as hoppity's collection is another great way to get chocolate per second basically hoppity's collection is the rabbits that you can get from around the world there's a bunch of different rarities but when you first start off you will only be able to get commons and uncommon so these are the uncommon ones and then these down here are the common ones but you can only find commons and uncommons around the world and the way that you get them is from talking to the hoppity npc who will be right here during the spring or by finding eggs around the map there's an egg in every single type of lobby that will spawn every 20 minutes there's a maximum of three eggs on the map at one time but these will only spawn when it's spring so don't worry about it if it's not spring. To tell how close they are to spawning, just check your calendar and events and look for the Hoppity's Hunt. The next one for me starts in three days, an hour and 46 minutes, and it lasts for a whole 31 hours. So you have over a day to be gathering these eggs as they show up. Basically what I usually do is I will take a break every 20 minutes and go and grab them. So if you're doing dungeons runs or farming or mining something like that you can just take a break every 20 minutes and go find those and the best way to find them is with this egg locator you can get the egg locator as well as a ton of other items inside the chocolate shop right down here on the bottom and basically this shop will allow you to buy a ton of new items the egg locator is seven and a half million chocolate so that sounds like a lot but it's really not if you've had your chocolate factory for a couple of days you'll generally get more than this overnight. So if you just try and get this, once you have enough chocolate for it, then it's definitely a good buy. But you'll also wanna spend chocolate inside of here because there is a chocolate shop milestone that goes all the way up to 800 billion chocolate spent and gives you a ton of rabbits along the way. Every rabbit gives additional chocolate per second as well as a multiplier per second to your chocolate factory. And the mythic ones are usually the best ones. The mythic ones give special abilities so the Zeta Rabbit, which you get for spending 250 million chocolate in the chocolate shop, reduces the cost of your employee upgrades by 1%, which is really, really helpful. But as you can see, there is a lot of items that you can buy here. The Supreme Chocolate Bar gives you extra cocoa bean fortune if you donate 3,000 of them to Carolyn. The accessories, as you upgrade them, give you a higher chance to find a rabbit that you haven't found yet and gives an additional 50 chocolate per second. So these are really good if you're later game going for the mythic or divine rabbits after you've prestiged, which we'll get into in a moment. There's also the dark cocoa truffle, which is really, really nice. Gives global fortune, which is just fortune for literally everything. Farming, mining, foraging, it's all good. Then there's a dye and a factory barn skin, which you really don't need, but if you want to spend money on these, it's not horrible. As far as the barn skin, I haven't really seen it and the chocolate dye is pretty ugly. I mean, it's brown. You don't really wanna make any of your armor pieces brown most of the time, but 
if you are going for that feel free there's also the chocolate syringe which upgrades your rabbit pet to mythic and the mythic rabbit increases chocolate factory production by a pretty big multiplier and duplicate rabbits will give you more chocolate so it's a pretty helpful upgrade it is again very expensive though there's also zoro's cape which is a very nice legendary cloak that is really good for farming but it does require you to have found zoro from but it does require you to have found zoro and have added him to your hobbies collection he's pretty rare because he's a mythic but if you find him you have the option to buy this cape there's also hoppity's abiphone contact and some extra cocoa bean fortune each one of these items unlocks at a different prestige so basically prestiges happen whenever you can upgrade your chocolate factory to another level every time your prestige is going to reset your employees here but it will not reset your collection plus depending on your prestige you'll unlock different upgrades down here so again when you first start off at chocolate factory level one you'll have access to these first five employees and this hand-baked chocolate as well as your rabbit barn, which I'll talk about in a minute, but you definitely want to make sure you spend all of your chocolate before you prestige. You don't have to have the amount of chocolate required to prestige on you at that one time. It's just, you wanna make sure this chocolate that you've earned this prestige hits the number required. So for the first prestige, it's only 150 million chocolate, which does not take long at all. The second prestige is a billion. The third one is 4 billion, the fourth is 10 billion, and the last one is 30 billion. And every single one of those upgrades increases the max rabbit rarity that you can find. So you won't be able to find rare rabbits until you've prestiged once, which costs 150 million. You won't be able to find epics until you've prestiged twice, which costs another billion. Legendaries at prestige three, which is 4 billion. Mythics at prestige four, which is 10 billion. And divines at prestige five, which is 30 billion so it takes a while chocolate factory came out a couple months ago and i just prestiged to chocolate factory level six yesterday so it does take a very long time thankfully since they first came out with it they did add these extra two npcs that you can unlock depending on your prestige level so let's go over what you get at each prestige the first time you prestige you'll unlock access to the time tower which is a special chocolate factory upgrade that will increase the amount of production your chocolate factory does for one hour but it has a maximum of three charges and it takes eight hours to recharge so when you prestige you'll have zero charges you have to wait eight hours to use one of your charges but to increase the amount that it increases your chocolate factory production by you can upgrade it so my time tower is currently at level five but i could upgrade it for the low low cost of 45 million chocolate and then it would increase my chocolate per second for that hour by 0.6x instead of 0.5x there's a lot of math involved in here to figure out what your best upgrade is so again i highly recommend getting bad Lion client or something else that has a good chocolate factory mod to tell you what you need to upgrade i believe at prestige 2 you also unlock the rabbit uncle and rabbit dog might be unlocked at prestige 3 it's either prestige 2 or prestige 3 but at this point they've changed it so many times i'm looking on the official wiki and i can't even tell which one is unlocked at which level so you may unlock them right off the bat you may unlock them at prestige two and you may unlock the rabbit dog at prestige three but definitely want to upgrade these guys when you unlock them they're very very helpful at prestige three you'll unlock access to epic rabbit the max level of your employees will change based on what prestige you're at by the way so if you haven't prestiged yet they'll be maxed out at level 120 if you've prestiged once they'll max out at level 140 and if you prestige twice, they'll max out at level 160. Once you get to prestige two, you also unlock the rabbit shrine, which really isn't worth upgrading at these lower levels because it is pretty expensive. It's only a 1% chance to get rarer rabbits. And it's generally just better to spend that chocolate on more worthwhile upgrades that you get that will get you to the next prestige a bit faster once you've prestiged three times you unlock access to coach jack rabbit which is worth upgrading for sure he gives a 0.01 chocolate multiplier per second for every time you upgrade him so definitely very good to upgrade you don't want to upgrade him super often because his cost is pretty expensive and it's generally going to be better to upgrade your towers here but depending on how many rabbits you have and how high your employees level is is whether or not he'll be worth now we've got a couple more things to talk about so let's start off with the rabbit barn the rabbit barn is one of the most important things that you can upgrade because its upgrades do stay in between your prestiges so if you upgrade this to level 100 at prestige one after you prestige again 
it will stay at level 100. So this does not reset whenever you proceed, neither does your Hoppity's collection. So very important to upgrade this because if you have a low capacity and you start collecting rabbits when you don't have room for them, it's just gonna crush them and they won't be added to your collection. They're just gonna turn into a bunch of chocolate, which is still helpful, but if you get something really rare, that's an extremely low chance, like a divine rabbit or something at a higher level, and you don't have room for it, your odds of getting it again are going to be very slim and it's just not worth it. So make sure you always have room in your rabbit barn. Also, your chocolate factory milestones down here are very important to make sure you claim from these. They unlock when you've reached a certain amount of chocolate across all prestiges. And at 700 billion chocolate, you unlock access to the Zest Zephyr Rabbit, which gives a ton of chocolate per second and a pretty huge multiplier as well. So definitely worth going for that. Although... It is going to take a very long time to get to. And again, looking at our chocolate production per second, you can see these multipliers are very important. Having a cookie buff is extremely important. An extra 0.25x multiplier on your chocolate for having a cookie buff. Depending on your chocolate factory prestige as well, you'll get an extra amount of chocolate, which is very helpful. Plus, based on your Hobbity's collection, again, the rabbits that you have. And as far as when to use the time tower, I recommend trying to avoid hitting three charges, but also you want to kind of put it off as long as you can, because the longer you wait, the more chocolate per second you can start generating once you use the time tower boost. So let's say right now, you know, I've got all of these upgrades. I can upgrade my rabbit bro a couple times right now and then use the time tower immediately or I can wait for another hour and upgrade a bunch of my employees a few times and then use the time tower boost. So then when the time tower boost is being used, I'll get an even bigger amount of chocolate because I've upgraded some employees before I used the boost. But again, if I decided to wait, you know, like three hours when I'm gonna have had three charges already and I'm not gonna be gaining another charge in between, it's better for me to just go ahead and use it now than to let it stack up to all three charges. So it's especially good to make sure that you have either one or zero charges left right before you go to bed or something. So if you're offline for like a solid 12 hours or something like that, make sure to have one or zero charges in your time tower because you don't want it to fill up because that's downtime. Now, if you're just interested in Chocolate Factory for the money, that's what most people are here for, to be fair, then you do want to take into account the fact that everything has a certain amount of stock. You can see there is an annual stock on items in the shop. You can only buy a certain amount of these items every year. So currently, I've already bought 24 Supreme Chocolate Bars this year, but I can wait until the next Skyblock year, which is every five days, give or take a little bit, and then the stock will refill back up to 500. So even if you have an insane amount of chocolate per second, let's say like 30,000 or something, whatever the max is, you'll only be able to buy a certain amount of items every Skyblock year and make a certain amount of money off of it. So it's still gonna be free money, but as time goes on, it's gonna keep decreasing. The sooner you can get into it, the more money it's gonna make, and the more time that you can spend while the Hoppity's Hunt event is active, when you can collect as many eggs and get as many unique rabbits as possible, the better off you're going to be. I think there's been how many events now? At the time I'm recording this, there's been 10 total events. I've been online for at least five hours during every single one, and I've been able to get up to 376 unique rabbits, which is 82% of the total rabbits in the game at the moment. So just being online during that event will increase the amount of chocolate you get by a ton, and it's super duper helpful. So I recommend being online for a few hours during that event or getting on every 20 minutes whenever you have the opportunity. It is a 31 hour long event, so there's plenty of time to get into it. So make sure to take advantage of it when it's active. Now there is one final thing that I wanna go over and that is that some of these rabbits do have requirements. So you wanna make sure you meet as many of them as possible. We go down to the back, you can see most of them are finding unique egg locations in different areas, which if you don't have an egg locator, you really shouldn't worry about this one. But again, the egg locator is super cheap from the chocolate shop, seven and a half million chocolate, or you can even buy them on the auction house. And at the moment, they go for less than 200,000 coins. So highly recommend getting one of these to help you without to help you out with those requirements. But those are just some of the common requirements. You can see there's one for the end, the park, the spider's den, the farming islands, the dwarven mines, the gold mine, killing a golden Jerry while Jerry is mayor, the crystal hollows, the hub, crimson isle, finding a hundred duplicate rabbits and finding unique eggs in the deep cavern. So those are all the common ones. 
The epic ones get a little bit tougher with killing a T3 Rev, a Void Gloom, and a Seraph, finding 500 duplicate rabbits, 100 unique uncommon rabbits, prestiging to Chocolate Factory level 3, 50 unique uncommon rabbits, 200 unique common rabbits, which I still haven't gotten this one, T3 Demon Lord kill, 100 unique commons, T3 Tarantula kill, and then we get up to the rare ones, which require 50 unique rare rabbits, 1,000 duplicate rabbits, 25 unique rabbits, an F7 completion, 2,000 duplicate rabbits, an M7 completion, and 20 unique legendary rabbits. So some of these are extremely difficult to get the requirements for, especially the ones that revolve around the catacombs. So if you want to max out your chocolate factory, you will actually have to play the game but it's definitely worth doing and if you have done all of your requirements for the different locations and eggs generally the place to go to find the unique egg locations or to find your eggs after you've done all the unique egg locations is the crystal nucleus this is the smallest hub where things will spawn at I think the furthest one from spawn that you can find will be the one right here in mythical deposits. There's one that spawns right here on these blocks, but everything here is super duper close to each other. So you don't have to teleport around or have a ton of mana to be able to find all of these super easily. So highly recommend if you're going for eggs and you've already done all your unique locations, then you'll generally want to find your eggs here. As far as duplicate rabbits go, there is a way that those work. So basically, Every duplicate rabbit you find will give you 10% extra chocolate. Unless you found multiple of that rabbit, it will go up to 100%. So basically, I have found the general just the one time have zero duplicates. If I find him again and get the first duplicate, it's going to give me 80 million chocolate. And it's the same thing for April. It's the exact same amount of chocolate for all of these because I have found no duplicates of them. But... I have found a duplicate of Houdini, so he gives a bit more chocolate because I found one duplicate of him compared to these other ones. So if I find another one, I'm going to get 87 million chocolate instead of if I find another one of these other ones, I'll get 80 million. Basically, it'll go up every time I find a duplicate of the same type of rabbit. So we go down to the lower ones like these rares You can see Neptune. I found zero duplicates. I'm going to get 15 million the next time I find him, but I have found one duplicate of Murphy, so I'll get 16 million. And I found two duplicates of Linus, so I'll get 17 million. So that's basically how the duplicates will work. You can find duplicates. Most of the time after a certain point, you will find duplicates. And even in the shop from Hoppity, whenever his event comes around, you'll find duplicates from him as well. But those duplicates do help you upgrade your chocolate factory still, so they can still be useful. It's just more frustrating when you get a ton of them. So that's everything to do with the chocolate factory. It's pretty simple, but I wanted to make sure I made a video on it because there are a few things that can be a little bit confusing. But if you guys did enjoy or you learned something, please make sure to drop a like. It's absolutely free. It helps me out a ton. As of me making this video, we are 100 subs off of 11,000 subscribers. So please make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Y'all have an amazing rest of your day and God bless.